today's video, we are talking about the vertigo or the dolly zoom effect. This effect is used in a ton of movies and music videos, and it gives you the illusion that the foreground is being stretched away from the background. I myself use this effect in a lot of my videos, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this effect using Kinemaster and Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro is an excellent tool, and it's an application that you can download for your phone. And what it does is it transforms your phone into a fully manual video camera. What really stands out about Filmic Pro is that it's so easy to use. When it comes down to racking and controlling focus, adjusting exposure, and even changing your frame rate and resolution, this app basically does all of that for you. In today's video, we are going to be filming in the highest resolution your camera can. That is because we are going to be involving digital zooms. In the movies, they typically use a zoom lens on a movie camera, and what happens is, is that they zoom in and out in opposition of the camera movement. So for example, if the camera is moving forward, then the camera operator will be zooming out, and vice versa. So when you're filming this effect, make sure that you're either walking forward or backward. That's basically all you have to do. And I strongly recommend that you use a gimbal in order to get the smoothest shots possible. Also, feel free to shoot this at a high frame rate. In this shot here, you can see that I'm just walking straight on an empty street. This is an excellent example of a good place to shoot the vertigo or dolly zoom effect. Usually, long stretches of empty land produce a nice dolly zoom effect because we have a lot of space to play with here. So once you've captured your shot, go ahead and import that shot into Kinemaster. Just tap on create a new project and then tap on the 16 by 9 aspect ratio if you want to shoot this wide screen. Then we're going to tap on media and we're going to find that clip and that clip is right over here. All right, I'm gonna hit the check mark, and now I'm just gonna find a good place to cut and trim this. I like the fact that the street has those dotted lines in the middle because this allows me to center up and frame the shot properly. So remember, if you ever have a guide or something that can help you capture symmetrical shots, that's a good way to pull off this effect. So I shot this at slow-mo, I believe it was 240 frames per second. It's honestly going to play back extremely slowly. So I'm just gonna scroll here, tap on the clip here. I'm just gonna trim it. And I'm going to hit on split at playhead and just tap the other side and delete it. And now what's gonna happen is if I play back, it's still gonna be in super slow-mo. So I'm gonna pause it, tap on the clip, go to speed, and let's see what this looks like at 50% speed. All right. Let's see if this is slow enough or fast enough. I'm just gonna scroll over here, tap on it, and just trim the clip again. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tap on the clip again. I'm gonna go over to the pan and zoom button. And now I want to make sure that the start position is selected. And what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we're digitally zooming in in opposition to the camera's movement. So if you notice, as I play back this clip, we are moving forward with the camera. So what I want to do, I want to start in with a zoom in. And as the shot progresses, I want to zoom out. We're doing this all in opposition. That's something very, very important. All right, so all we had to do was just pinch in here with our two fingers, just pinch into the shot. Not too much because remember, we will be losing resolution. All right, then select the end position. And actually, it's gonna go back to normal. Now let's play it back. As you can see here, the back trees look like they're being stretched away from the road. It's really bizarre looking. Now let's say you wanna add more flair to your shot or more movement. What we're gonna do, we're gonna mess around with the roll axis. We're gonna actually turn the phone on its roll axis while we are moving in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and import the other clip here. Here it is. And basically that's the shot. We're just, again, we're moving forward and this time we're just moving the camera on the roll axis. And now we're gonna add the pan and zoom effect to create the vertigo or dolly zoom. Again, same concept as before. Just zoom in, I wanna make sure I'm in the center of the frame. And the end position, we're just gonna leave it the same because we want it to zoom out. 
Awesome, and to finish off the shot, we're gonna add a little color grade to make it more cinematic. We're gonna highlight the clip, and then I'm gonna go to vignette because I love using vignette, especially on KineMaster, it just gives that focus towards the center of the shot. Now I'm gonna go into adjustments, and I'm going to increase the vibrance just a little bit to give that footage the pop that it needs. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a lift to give it that faded look. I really love that faded look. And then that's about it. And played back, very nice and smooth. You see, it's as easy as that. All you really need is the KineMaster app and your phone, and there you go. You got yourself a beautiful looking vertigo shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in trying out KineMaster, check out the link down below, and I'll see you in another video.